What is up, all you sexy nerds? Grizzly McBee here. And uh, welcome to another episode. Thank you for listening and watching Nerd is a New Sexy Entertainment, the podcast. I am joined today by the one and only Wildfire One. We're, we're, this is going to be the Halloween podcast. Usually we're dressed up, but today we decided, you know, uh, we're just going to do a normal a normal podcast and talk about one of probably our favorite things, our favorite games that came out recently that I, everyone, I guess, is... And that would be Phasmophobia. Mm-hmm. You've been seeing We've us... We've had a lot of fun time with this game. You guys have been seeing us doing a lot of gameplay. I've done some streaming. Um, I'm addicted. I am. Um, it's fun as fuck, and it's very creepy. It is very creepy, yes. Um, I would say it's one of the creepier games that we've played. I'm surprised you played it and enjoyed it as much as you did, because you hate scary games. I do. I mean, I, I love Dead by Daylight. Um, you know, the... The one-hit wonder Friday the 13th game was shit. I don't know when you call it a one-hit wonder. Well, I mean, it it came out, it hit for a day, and then people stopped playing it. <laughs> Thus, one-hit wonder. But play? yeah, no, Phasmophobia, it's, it's just blowing up right now. Not just with us in, enjoying playing it, but everybody is playing it. A lot of, a lot of um, other YouTubers and streamers and... And just gamers in general. It, it's I it came out one. It came out at the right time. It came out right in October, and it hit yeah, the market. Yeah, came out at the perfect time. Um, it's uh, it's it's still in early development. We've put out how many videos so far? What? Oh man, a lot. And I think I've streamed three or four times already. Yeah, and I streamed twice while I was at your place. Mm -hmm. Um, so we've got a lot of content. Of phasmophobia out there. For those of our viewers that have not played or watched any videos, not just ours, but anybody's videos of phasmophobia, or um, don't know what it is in general. Yeah, and kind of give them a, a rundown of of the basics of the game. See, I've heard several different versions of of people more or less going that phasmophobia is like this. Phasmophobia is like that. Well, my the way I put it is this: Phasma, if you like like ghost hunting movie shows and TV shows, and <clears throat> think of that, you're doing that, but the ghost is like always there, and it could kill you. Mm -hmm. Yes, it can. Um, that's the best way I can I can explain it. Your your whole idea is to is to go in there and f confirm there's not just a ghost, but what kind of ghost it is. So you're going in with EMFs, you're going in with sound sensors, you're going in with uh, motion detectors, you're going in with all sorts of different uh, types of like thermometers, all sorts of different types of types of uh, equipment that you use that helps you determine what kind of ghost it is. You can even talk to a Ouija board. Because I mean, there's demons, there's race, spirits, only um, all this, all these things, and gins. They, uh, uh, what? Uh, there's like well over 13 different things that it could be. There's yeah. There's a. There's and a it's sentiment. never the same thing twice. Yeah. Well, no. So and you, you can't say never. I've gotten entity. demons. I've gotten demons like three times in a row. A few times. Well, yeah, but I mean, in general, it's different you, you don't time. get the same thing twice. Yeah. It's different each time, and you can. Um, there's houses. You go to these locations. You go to houses, high schools, asylums. Um, it, in like Farms. farmhouses, yeah, and it's really it's a really cool idea. So congrats to the person who made that game. It's they did a damn good job, and I'm excited to see where it goes. I, I am too. I am too. I mean, th there's four base characters that you can choose from. Mm -hmm. um, it is a four player game, up to four player game. Yeah, you can go one player, two player, three player, four player. You're gonna have more friends with um, more fun with friends. I guarantee that. Yes, yes, you definitely have more fun with friends. The screen. It makes it spook. It makes it spookier that way almost. Yeah. Well, with, alone with it's, it's with there's a there's a certain scariness to doing it alone, but like you actually f share your friend's fear. If if you're afraid of that kind of stuff and it freaks you out, you share your friend's fear. Oh, definitely. And it, definitely. it's really cool um, going from room to room trying to figure out and the lights will flicker, you know, you're now now especially with your sanity, if your sanity gets lower it'll just flicker for you. 
Did you know that? Yeah. Yeah. And, and you know, it's been out since, what, the beginning of October? And yeah. it's, I believe it's already had three different updates to it. Mm-hmm. Considering it's just so, one I guy mean, using a lot of assets, uh, a lot of uh, Unity assets, yeah. it's actually a really good game. They're doing really well, and it also not on top on top of it all, the game uh, goes off of audio recognition. You can say the words "Are mm-hmm. you there?" and it can answer you in in a spirit box, or it can or it'll do something like flicker the lights, and it'll flicker the lights. Um, it's all, right. all RNG. When I streamed in the episode I put out. <laughs> Um, you talk shit to it, uh, it will respond. <laughs> yeah. He's a he, uh, good example is what he's talking about. If you guys haven't seen, the, haven't seen that that uh, that particular video, he was uh, trying to get it to do something on the EMF. He said, hey, make this light turn red. Okay, th- this device in my hand, you see the green light? Make it red and I will not, I- I'll leave this room. Hey, if you let make this light turn red, I'll leave. And then he goes, and it, the guy's name was Charles. And if you say their name, that's also... Charles, stop being a bitch. Yeah, come on, Charles, and don't boom, be a bitch. it lights up to five, it lights all the way up to red, and I lose my shit. <laughs> come on, Charles, don't be a bitch. Where's the door? Where's the door? <laughs> Close the door. Fuck you, Jordan. You can stay and die. I don't care. I'm out. <laughs> uh, because, I mean, it did it the second I stopped talking. Yes. Yes. And, uh, so, and, and having where's the that door? Sort where's of, the door? <laughs> having that sort of programming and, you know, sound recognition, like Wild said, in a game like that. It bumps up the experience to ten. Oh, hands having, down. having having a Ouija board answer you is creepy as fuck. Oh, right. Or or like um, th- they give you a uh, a notebook with that's got a pencil uh, with some of the entities. If you go into the room and set it down, it will write in it. Some of you them, know, like demonic symbols. Some of them you can just walk in the room, look down, it in and your it's head. already written in. Yeah, so I've yeah. had that happen a hundred times, and it scares the shit out of me every time. Yeah, it's it's freaky. The very, it's real the very freaky. Artsy ghost. Yeah. The high school. Like, sometimes creepy. it won't speak through the spirit box, but you'll just hear this. <sighs> yeah, you'll hear it in your ear. right in your ear. Well, they'll do that drone and, clicking. I mean, as well, they'll do the, the what? Did you own clicking like from the grudge? Yeah, yeah, they'll do that, that, that uh, kind of sound. I can't yeah. do it too well, but you get the drift, and it, it's creepy as fuck. And then, of course, they'll appear. Uh, we've it took us a while to realize the difference between an appearance of a ghost and the ghost actually hunting you. The trick is, yes. I'll tell you guys right now, if you guys don't know, the trick is when your lights blink. If all the lights blink, you're being hunted. Get the fuck out of Dodge. If it just appears, try and get a picture. Give it a kiss. Spank it on the ass. That's what we do. Yeah, it, it, it won't touch you then, but if the lights start flickering, um, pro tip, find a dark room, turn all your shit off, and shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah. And it's actually a really cool part of the game because everyone's, the fight or flight kicks in. You scream. Yeah. You, oh, Jesus Christ! You know, like what happened with Reese. Straight. Hey, uh, oh, you're in there alone, brother. Oh, the light is. Is that you? Oh, Jesus! The door shut on him! Jesus. The door shut on him! I'm opening the door! We're coming! We're coming! We're coming! We're coming! We're coming! We're coming. <laughs> in yeah. The first episode. Get me out of here! He got stuck in there alone. But um, yeah, we've been playing. You've you've heard us talk about Reese a thousand times. Reese has been playing this game with us. It's it's fun as fuck. And him and his brother Jordan. Um, Along with a, a fandom and a bunch of other people we've been playing with, it's, it's, the the group that we started with grew like as far as playing and um, yeah, it's fun as fuck. It's it's a really good game, and it's it's a puzzle solving game. And I really thought that a puzzle solving aspect of this game would get boring. No, it doesn't because it's no it, different. every every round every interaction with with this ghost hunting. Is a different different outcome. It's different you know, each time. It, it, even like what Wild said, you know, he got demon three times in a row. 
each of those times you had different evidence, right? Yeah, sometimes it's well, no, it's the same evidence, but you have to, some sometimes you have to go a little further and harder. You have to dig deeper to get that evidence. And uh, cuz sometimes the ghost just makes you work for it. There's times that, you know, you yeah. get you really got to get you got to you got to shut doors for them to open it and get fingerprints and um you got to you got to you got to actually sit if it's an alone ghost, you literally got to talk to the stupid spirit box alone and that is horrifying. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> and uh, it's yeah, it's ridiculous. And sometimes it just won't. It just don't. There, there, there's been a lot of like, the game's been not broken, but it's been very glitchy lately, unfortunately. And one of the biggest glitches recently, because the uh, the temperature gauges used to work wonderfully. Now now it's hard. Like there's there's like I had an instance just the other day. I was playing with uh, my buddy Clovis. And we had an instance just the other day where the ghost was haunting a doorway. And that's it. Yeah, Reese played, I want to say, about two weeks ago. And he told me he got killed outside the ghost. Well, I mean, I've, I've seen um, screenshots that people have taken where the ghost is, like, right outside the van. Yeah, see, I've never seen that. But that's funny as fuck. But Reese got hunted, and it got him outside while he was outside the house. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> and that's just so you guys know, that's supposed to be like the safe area. So the game's been good. Yeah, I, once you go out the front door, you are safe. Yeah, and the, the ambience, so the, the sound changes completely once you walk inside. Oh, completely, completely. Comparing this game to other scary games that you've played, because I know you like scary games. Yeah. What would you, what would you say is the scariest game that you have played? Silent Hill 3. Actually, three. How would you compare Phasmophobia to Silent Hill 3? Phasmophobia plays on your your fears. Like, you're, you're very, like, you're the fear of the supernatural. If you're scared of the supernatural, if you really believe in that, that stuff, which I do, uh, if you go in, it plays off those fears. It plays off every little sound fucks with you. Every, and with, and it, 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 let's compare that, you said, to Silent Hill 3. Silent Hill 3 had its already kind of like a set scare. You knew what yeah. you were getting into and what possibly could happen. And, of course, if you replay the game, Silent Hill 3, you know where the scares are going to be. With Phasmophobia, mm -hmm. anything can happen at any time. Very true. It could happen 15 minutes into you being in, you know, whatever building. It could happen 10 seconds to you walking through the front door. Yeah, it, the ghost that has happened sometimes. on several occasions. Yeah, and that's it's that it's the fear of the unknown. I think that makes this game so freaky, so fucking out of nowhere. Yeah, and I think that's the and big issue. I I I think that's a big contributing factor as to why the game is blowing up so much that it is right now, being a brand new release game that came out of nowhere. Oh, it's not even finished yet. Now. Um, exactly. As far as scary games with you, same question. What do you think? Oh, I think this is probably the scariest game I've ever played. Uh, I was talking. I was trying to explain the game before Clovis got the this game. I was trying to explain him to him in 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 ways like comparing it to games like Dead by Daylight. And one of the things I said was Dead by Daylight in scare factor is probably a four or five. Like See, phasmophobia is a ten. Fa hands no, fa down. no, phasmophobia is an eight hands down because well for me it's a 10 i've been playing it a long time that's why it's i say it. it's still an eight eight is good it's just um some of the, there's certain things yeah. that it's got that's gotten old and i'll get to that in a minute because there's a few things I'm, i want to talk about how they can make phasmophobia even better uh, and um, don't take these criticisms as like these critiques as like i'm downing the game i fucking love this game i'm addicted to this game but mm -hmm. I, I see things that I see something that I love, and I think of ways to maybe kind of change it and make, make it, a it little, better, a little better. Yeah. Uh, but phasmophobia to me is an eight, and there's 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 a lot of reasons because of that. Now, I wrote a I recently wrote a review on it on Steam, and which that's not a big deal. A lot of people do that, but one of the things I did put in, I put a few things in that they could change to make it better. One, of course, more more uh, more locations. A yeah, a cemetery. Have an outdoor, have an outdoor location. That'd be great. A cemetery would be awesome. An old cemetery, a church with like mausoleums and everything. Oh yeah, an old, old abandoned church. Yes, an old abandoned church. Or I, I put one more. I, I said a crematorium. I oh crap! I didn't even think about that. A crematorium would be great. Like an old, uh, like an old federal building. Yeah. 
Okay, and then one of the other things I think would be better is, and I'm I, I'm probably not the only one that thinks this. The hands around the because when you die, you see hands coming over your eyes, and it like basically snaps <laughs> snaps your neck. And uh, some of these ghosts have weapons. Like what the fuck? But anyway, uh, one of the one of the things I think I would like to see added would be something like different death animations. I and and one of the things yes. I said was. Yes. How horrifying would it be to see one of your friends being levitated three feet in the air and have its neck, his neck snapped, or his or her neck snapped, and then thrown to the side? Right. That'd be horrifying. Right. You know what I mean? And on top of that, you don't know if you're playing the game, you don't know what death animation's coming. Oh, you're gonna get shit scared out of you. Exactly. After after a while, the whole hands over the the eyes gets old, and it's it's. I've gotten killed maybe three or four times, and by the second time, I was like, oh, okay, it's not scary no more. That isn't. It's trying not to get caught that makes it scary. And the ghosts appearing. I think more ghost models would be good. Um, there was... I, I gave three or four different... I gave like four or five different things. But those, those are the, th- the ones that come to mind. Uh, some... Honestly, like... There's one of the ghosts that says in the book that it can possess the living. Would it be awesome if, like, it could possess your dead buddy? That would be nuts. Yeah, like, imagine the body coming up. I mean, not necessarily coming at you and killing you, but just fucking around, like, just wobbling around. And it, that's kind of horrifying. Do more stuff with a television. Put, like, a put like a, a outline of the ghost on, on the TV instead of just the lines. That would be kind of cool when the TVs yeah. come on. You know, make it, uh, it would be kind of a cool little wink to, like, movies like, you know, Poltergeist. Yeah. You know, there's a lot of cool interactions already. What, also, I think one of the things you and I talked about one time, wouldn't it be cool if you walked into a room and everything flew off the walls? Yeah. Give the poltergeist that ability. Not necessarily yeah, all the time, I mean, but... They can throw two or three things at a time, but it's like a cup, a book, a pencil or something. Yeah, it's hard, and, it, and a lot of times it's hard to to recognize them from an Oni, because the Oni does the same yeah. thing almost. You know? Yeah, yeah. The only difference between an Oni and a Poltergeist, in my opinion, I could be wrong. From my experience, the Oni, the Oni is like more aggro. Yeah. It takes a lot to get a Poltergeist yeah. to come at you. But either way, uh, it's a really good game. I'd give the game itself, like from a one to ten rating, I'd give a fucking nine already, and it's not even finished. Oh yeah, e- easily. It's easily, uh, entertaining. I still, I just want to play it all the time. I got my dad playing it. It's just, it's fun as fuck. I recommend it. It was it came out perfect time. If you guys like scary games, uh, it's the this is the game to play. Perfect timing, perfect everything. It's just it's it's creepy as fuck. I won't play it alone. I don't even like to be in, in a room alone in that game. And I don't mind scary <laughs> shit. It's and it's because I'm yeah. wearing these and I'm and, and it's because the ambient sound changes. The lights are off. The lights the ambient go off. Sound. And, yeah. And now I'm at the point where I often <coughs> I, I'm mostly playing on um, professional because of my level. Finally got your level back up after it fucking reset you, huh? Yeah. <laughs> you got I re, we had to reset it. It reset by itself when he was playing and uh I I think you got me to level seven. I think I was like, gonna be at like sixteen, seventeen. Well now I'm like hundred and thirty something. So Wow. That shows how much I've been playing it. Yeah. Hi those of you who, who watch us and have played it, what do you think? Is there anything we yeah, left out? Le- leave your comments down below. You know, your thoughts, your opinions on the game, what you think, you know, could be changed, could be done different. You know, and and your experiences with the game itself. Oh yeah. You know what creepy shit have you ran into? The screams in this game are hilarious. Like I said, Reese screaming. The the video came out today. We're actually scared fandom. I don't know if you saw that. You were right in my ear in game. Yeah, wild. Come over here. You're you're. Please come over here. <laughs> that was me. <laughs> uh, well, mine got me bad. I mean, the the hair on my back and my arms just stood on end. You know, I started shaking. It was it was bad. You know, like it scared the shit out of me. Yeah, the it game, did. It, and that's why I say it. It messes with your with your fear of the unknown. And that's the thing. You don't know when these go where these ghosts are you, until you find the room. And even then. They're, they might not be there. They don't know what you don't know what they're gonna do. You don't know when they're gonna appear. They don't always pop up right across the room from you. Sometimes they pop up right behind you, or, in your or face. right in front of you, or right next to you. Then they'll make noises, or inside you, and then just kind of. 
I had one. I had one where we walked right through it. Uh, me and me and Sunra had a game where we we went up against that little baby thing. The kid. Yeah. Forty degrees. Thirty nine degrees. Thirty nine. Oh, it just ah! shut the door. Ah! Oh, it's a fucking there child. Is! Take a picture. You got it. I don't have a camera. Oh, fuck. That little thing is running around like a little crackhead. Daddy, I love you. you. Come pick me up. Okay, okay. Well, fuck, fuck you guys. guys. And, oh, that one was freaky. Yeah, that that little fucker ran towards him and ran towards me, and then turned around and got the fuck out of dodge because it didn't like people. It, it was a lone ghost. And uh, you saved his life. I did. Well, actually, I, I like to think I did, but honestly, it wasn't hunting. It was just it was just a ghost event. The RNG. Oh yeah, in this if game, it was hunting, you both would have died. Well, if it was hunting, <laughs> I'd have got right the fuck out of there and let him die. <laughs> But the the RNG in this game is just about everything. Like it, it the the rules are basically depending on where if it's gonna hunt, if it's going to um, if it's gonna appear, if it's gonna throw something. Everything everything within in is random. Is random and it also depends on what you do and what kind of ghost it is. If it's a certain ghost, it hunts only one person. If that person's it in depends the truck, on your interactions within that scenario. If that person's in the truck. They're going to go after the next person down. And it's beautiful. It's just, you know, you can yeah. use smudge sticks, you can crucifixes save you, and uh, if you use them correctly, and uh, sometimes you can put a crucifix down and it won't do shit because the fucking ghost spawns somewhere else. And it'll still yeah. kill your ass. And it's just... It's, yeah, I, I've seen that a few times where you crucifix the room, and then it'll spawn on the other side of the house, thinking... Okay, well, this is where everybody's congregating because they're thinking I'm in that room. Guess what? Not anymore. I'm over here now. I died recently because of something like that. In fact, honestly, also hiding behind tables and shit saved my life a few times without even realizing. But one of the last times I died, we were we put we had put a crucifix and it was in the in the uh, farmhouse, the one with a big kitchen. Oh yeah. It leads around to the shitter that's always haunted. Yeah. So the uh, anyway, we we were me and J Mac were playing, and we were okay. uh, we were playing, and we had we had it set up. We had it fucking perfect. We had a crucifix on one side, a crucifix a crucifix on the other. So if it spawned in that area in that room, there's no way in hell it would, it could hunt us. Well, it didn't spawn in that room. So all of a sudden the lights <laughs> are blinking. We're like fuck, 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 and I'm hiding. He's hiding, and next thing I know, I see the <laughs> over my eyes, and I'm dead. Didn't hide too well, did you? I didn't have time. Like, you hear, and that's another thing. When it hunts, you hear that bitch stomping around. Mm-hmm. You're thump, thump, thump. It's just, it's coming at you. You and it, it, if, it, if the thumping goes further away. You're not safe in the closet. <laughs> if the thumping goes further way. away, you know you're okay. If it gets closer, shut the door. You're going to die. Shut yeah. the door and hide the best you can. And sometimes... And, and when, it, when it starts hunting... The front door closes and it locks and mm -hmm. you cannot get out. Oh yeah. And that's when the panic sinks in. It's flare flight. You, I mean, a lot of the times you forget it's a game. You're like, oh shit, what the fuck? Why am I doing this? Why am I doing this? And Where's the door? Where's, where's the, the door? door? Yeah. Every time, when I was editing that video, every time I got to that part, I was laughing my ass. You played it like 30 freaking times. It was hilarious. But uh, like we said, guys, let us know what you think. Let us know your experiences. I'd love to hear it because I've, I've seen other YouTubers play it. And it's, it's you know, you can always tell when there's fake reactions. And yeah. Some of those, like, you know... I've and I've seen unfortunately some of those videos and oh the, oh that's another thing one of the one of the games I was playing recently I was streaming and uh, we got a streamer notification and it freaked me the fuck out well it happened mm -hmm. it what happened it was dead quiet and I was looking for the ghost and it wasn't play, it was playing hard to get and all of a sudden I hear I hear the streamer notification in my ear and it made me about shit my pants I'm going back down it's that room Jesus Christ. Can I scare you? No, not you. <laughs> one of the alerts for the <laughs> one of the alerts for the stream went off and scared the balls out of me. <laughs> I was like, oh Jesus! If you got the game, want to play with us? Let us know. This is I, very few times I say this, but in Phasmophobia, 
the fear is a thing, and it's the more the merrier and the more funny it is. We do play with with fans. We do. Oh yeah. Um, Nani, who you've heard uh, Wild and I talk about several times, has been following us for for quite a while. Um, she hit me up and she's like, "I want to get the game. I want to play with you guys." And Wild's like, "Uh, oh, yeah. okay. You know, here's my my gamer tag on Steam." Send me an invite, and uh, we'll get you in the next game. Yeah. And then we played for, what, like three hours? Yeah. Was that weekend that you were here? So, with that said and done, guys, uh, we want to wish you a happy Halloween, because that's when this is dropping. Have yep. Have a good Halloween. Be safe. Be Have fun. Was there anything you want to say before we leave, Grizz? Enjoy the game. We did. Whether it scared the crap out of us or not. We enjoyed it, and we still enjoy it, and we will continue to enjoy it. Oh, I'm still it is that it. good of a game. I'm still going to play it. I will, too. With that, guys, we want you to stay nerdy. And stay sexy. Always. always.